hello all of you uh thank you once again for um watching this video which becomes very helpful for all of you to understand economics in various dimensions um, my dear friends in the earlier uh, video i have given an introduction about the quantity theory of money the quantity theory of money again i will give you a short reference the theory states that whatever the money supply takes place in the economy at the same proportion the price level will also rises in the economy uh, connecting to the same introductory part now i would like to uh, convey you about uh, one of the famous theory which has been developed by irving fisher irving fisher uh, uh, in his own ideology uh, mainly or uh, popularly this uh, theory or his theory is being called as uh, fisher's transaction version to quantity theory of money uh, my dear friends just look at the first slide on the introductory part of fisher's quantity theory of money or fisher's transaction version to quantity theory of money the transaction version of the quantity theory of money was coined or referred by the american economist irving fisher in his book the purchasing power of money in the year 1911 the book was written in the year 1911 in which he said that how there exists a relationship between money supply and general price level in the economy he says that when other things remaining unchanged as the quantity of money in circulation increases the price level also increases in direct proportion and the value of money decreases and vice versa my dear friends just listen to me again what he says when other things remaining unchanged or constant here the other things remaining unchanged is or are one of the very important assumptions of the theory his uh, uh, theory been uh, explained with the help of a famous equation that is mv is equal to pt in which he had of certain assumptions such assumptions should be remain unchanged when such assumptions remaining the same or unchanged when quantity of money in circulation increases or uh, supply of money increases the price level also increases in direct proportion direct proportion means whatever changes in x the same changes takes place in y same changes in the same proportion or in the same direction or in the same level um, and the value of money decreases and vice versa value of money decreases it means that whenever money supply rises it rises the price level and resulting in a decrease in the value of money means that uh, when you have 10 rupees in your pocket uh, if it buys two goods in the market say for example a price is a commodity is cost around rupees 5 then you can buy two commodities the same commodity is charged now rupees 10 what happens your 10 rupee will buy only one commodity it means whenever prices of commodity rises then the value of money falls the value of money is nothing but what is value of money value of money is nothing but the purchasing power of a unit of money whatever the quantity of commodity a unit of money purchases that amount of commodity is called as value of money fisher's quantity theory of money fisher i uh, have uh, said you in the early that a famous american economist who tried his level best to convey his ideology to the youngsters or the thinkers of different level that he says mv is equal to pt it is one of the important equation laid down by irving fisher what is mv what is pt mv is equal to demand for money pt is equal to supply of money what does actually mean mv is equal to pt is nothing but demand for money is equal to supply of money Uh, in the early i have said about his theory that his theory is transaction version or transaction approach to quantity theory of money the reason behind calling of this transaction approach is 
Fisher's quantity theory of money only focus on the transaction value for money, not of store value of money. The transaction value of money says that whatever the money is being supplied in the economy, the same amount of money being transacted over goods and services. So no money left with the public to store, only here transaction value gets importance. My dear friends, just look at the slide about the equation mv is equal to pt or p is equal to mv by t. When you get the equation into your mind or when you heard about the equation that is mv is equal to pt into your mind, you have to be very careful, you have to be very careful that purely this equation belongs to Irving Fisher. Okay, mv is equal to pt is only the equation laid down by Irving Fisher. Here in his equation, m is the quantity of money, v is the transaction velocity. Velocity means uh, the way money circulates or passes from one hand to another hand. In what way? Whether it is very speedily or very slowly. So how it passes or how it uh, changes from one hand to another hand, it is being called as velocity of money. T is the price level and T is the total goods and services transacted. Uh, if you want to understand this equation very um, easily, then you should go for the another slide, which makes us very clear about the equation by giving certain statistics or numbers to each of the uh, uh, variables. Suppose m is equal to rupees 1000, v is equal to 4, p is equal to rupees 2 and t is equal to 2000. Thus, if you go with the equation that is mv is equal to pt and you can directly derive with the help of that values and finally you will get the value like rupees 4000 equal to rupees 4000. What you have the value in mv, the same value you will get in pt means money supply is equal to money demand or in the another uh, uh, problem there is uh, m which increases by 50 percent uh, that is m rises from uh, 1000 to 1500 then p will rises by uh, rupees 2 to rupees 3 where you will get the same answer that is rupees 3 equal to 3. So in the entire uh, equation the Fisher's ideology says that whatever the money being supplied in the economy the same amount of money will be transacted over goods and services because money has transaction value. Since money has transaction value, people will offer their money in getting of goods and services in the economy. Uh, to understand, to understand this equation very uh, easily, you can go with the uh, diagrams. Diagrams I have given. Uh, in front of you a diagram the slide says about the relationship between money supply and value of money and also the relationship between value of money and supply of money okay uh, in the given diagram there are two diagrams diagram a describes about the relationship between money supply and price level and the second diagram uh, makes us very clear about money supply and value of money my dear friends, in the first diagram, in the first diagram, to understand the relationship between money supply and price level, where we have drawn a, a diagonal curve, which has been been originated from O at a 45 degree angle, we have drawn that uh, curve, which clearly indicates that whatever the variable changes in O x axis the same amount of changes takes place in OY axis. So 45 degree changes in the OX axis, the same level of um, changes takes place in the OX axis. So uh, uh, in total, the entire diagram is about 90 degree, 90 degree. Uh, in the money supply uh, curve or axis that is OY, uh, sorry OX where uh, money supply changes to M2 or from M2 M2 or M2 M1 uh, 
the price level changes from P2, P1 or decreases by P2, P2. Um, if you if you if you do not understand it uh, again please listen to me om is the initial money supply the initial price level is op when money supply rises from m to m1 the price level rises to p to p1 p to p1 uh, and vice versa vice versa means if money supply decreases from m to m2 the price level decreases by p2 p2 where uh, the 45 degree angle curve shows about p is equal to f of m which means that price of the commodity is the function of money money supply means the money supply is influenced over price level of the commodity and in the next diagram uh, we could understand the fact that how the value of money rises when the supply of money falls when the supply of money falls if the money supply falls to uh, m2 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 the value of money rises from 1 by p2 1 by p2 means if money supply falls by 1% the value of money will rises by price value of money will rises by twice so this is about the relationship laid down by irving fisher the major essence of his theory is there is a direct relationship between money supply and price level in the economy and there is an inverse relationship between money supply and value of money in the economy means if money supply falls the value of money will tends to rise so i hope you understood about these concepts please listen uh, many of times about this concept uh, in your uh, what we call uh, videos in any of the media so when you are getting these videos please understand about the equations at first what actually the variables tells us or tells about what m stands for what v stands for what what p stands for and what t stands for so once again i thank all of you for patient listening uh, thank you thank you very much